They say that buying a home is one of the most stressful things you could ever go through in life. Um, I think the uh, getting married is probably up there too. But you know, a lot of people say, you know, how do you, how do you kind of handle all that stress? So today I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, what I do because I work with clients every day uh, for the past 25, 30 years. <clears throat> and every single one, of course, is buying a home so they have tons of stress in their life. And I think my job is to kind of take away that stress. But, you know, what do I do to get rid of that stress? So we're going to talk about a few ways of getting rid of stress today when buying a home. Somebody told me discipline plus consistency equals success. So let's talk about writing things down. So you're buying a home, right? And you want to write everything down on a piece of paper. Did we have our home inspection? You know, is the appraisal ordered? You know, what do we have to do? Do we order our homeowner's insurance? Well, some things that I try to do every day is wake up in the morning. I like to go over what I have to plan for my day. So that way, when I come into the office, I know what I have to do and get done. I like to get on a bike. I don't know if you guys own a Peloton, but I just, I just purchased the Peloton. And I can't tell you how motivational that is to be in there in that class pedaling. First time I got on this bike, it was hilarious. I didn't think I could pedal for 15 minutes. Next thing you know, I'm on it for 30 minutes because I just kept going because the lady who was teaching the class is like, come on now, you could do it. I'm thinking, I could do it. And I'm pedaling so fast, I'm dripping with sweat. What an awesome thing to do. So even though I'm saying write these lists and talk about your day and what you have to accomplish, you know, maybe go out, go for a walk. Do some things to alleviate the stress because home buying is a stressful experience. Let me handle the mortgage side, but you need to handle the stress. Another thing that I've done in the past is I like to get away from it all. I like to go fishing. I don't know if you guys know me, but I've been fishing since I've been extremely young. My dad took me to Upper Wisconsin, Eagle River, Wisconsin. I'll never forget this. I had an uncle by the name of Uncle Johnny, a little lot shorter than me, a little bit bigger than me. And every day, uh, four o'clock in the afternoon, he had one of those triangles and he would go like this and he would scream on the lake, martini time. And all the neighbors would come over and they'd all be drinking martinis. And I don't know what this has to do with fishing, but that was a great memory of mine. <laughs> you hear everybody laughing. But my memory of Uncle Johnny and fishing and going to the lake and the cabin and you know, and, and just enjoying these times with all those people around the lake. You know, people think of home ownership as this is the house I'm gonna live in, but it could be a really cute cabin on the lake too. That brings memories to your whole family for years. I mean, I am 58 years old, and I think I went there when I was in second grade, and it is one of my favorite memories. As a matter of fact, there's a little picture of me with my school sweatshirt on. Um, holding up the stringer fish, it was so heavy, I'm tilted like this, a big smile on my face. And since that day, I fell in love with fishing in Upper Wisconsin, and now it's down in the Florida Keys, but uh, I love fishing. So um, I don't know why I'm telling you this story, but I think it's a great story to tell. It tells you a little about who I am, and uh, you know, I go through everything you're going through when purchasing a home, but know that I know it's so important to take care of you so that way you don't have all this stress accompanied with purchasing a home.